How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I wanted to quickly talk about the so-called built-in VPN on the iPhone. It's not exactly a built-in VPN. It's part of the a Cloud Plus service. So the first thing to note is that just because you have an iPhone doesn't mean you automatically get the private relay feature, which is what the built-in, so-called built-in VPN is called. It's called private relay. Now it comes with iCloud Plus accounts. This is anyone that's paying for additional cloud storage already. In that sense, it's not really a built-in service. Secondly, Private Relay is not a VPN. Though it does offer some security and privacy perks, they're just not anywhere near as extensive as a fully fledged third-party VPN service. It's able to conceal a user's IP address, Private Relay only protects traffic with Apple's own web browser, Safari, and apps with insecure connections, uh, HTTP as opposed to HTTPS. For anyone opting to use Chrome or another browser on iPhone, won't be protected. While Private Relay automatically chooses two random servers to connect to uh, and prevent any digital path from being tied to you and your device, it loses out on the ability to select a specific country like a VPN. Geo spoofing allows you to access otherwise restricted content online and is one of the main reasons why beyond boosted security you'll want a VPN for your iPhone. So yeah, this is how it works really. It's private relay is just simply made to uh, protect your browsing data so that your internet service provider can't tell what you're browsing on your Safari, but that's where it stops. Whereas an actual VPN will protect your entire device. This is why I'd recommend you use a good premium third-party VPN such as Express, Nord, and Surfshark, all of which are available on the iPhone. Um, this is where you can actually encrypt your entire device, you can access streaming services, you can select exactly which protocol protocol you want to use, which country you want to connect to. And um, you can, of course, uh, let's say access the American Netflix, French Netflix, Spanish Netflix, Canadian Netflix, whatever it is, uh, whatever streaming service that you're trying to unblock using a third party VPN because they're made for that. Whereas the uh, private relay is just made to uh, secure your Safari browsing uh, data. Besides that, it's really nothing more than that, really. So here, as you can tell, it says normally when you use the uh, web information contained in your web traffic, such as your DNS records and IP address can be seen by your network provider and the websites you visit. This information can be used to determine your identity and build a profile of your location and browsing history over time. iCloud Private Relay is designed to protect your privacy by ensuring that when you browse the web in Safari, no single party, not even Apple, can see both who you are and what sites you're visiting. And that's pretty much it. When Private Relay is enabled, your request are sent through two separate secure internet relays. Your IP address is visible to your network provider and to the first relay, which is operated by Apple. Your DNS records are encrypted, so neither party can see the address of the website you're trying to visit. The second relay, which is operated by a third party content provider, generates a temporary IP address, decrypts the name of the website you requested and connects you to the site. All of this is done using the latest internet standards to maintain a high performance browsing experience while protecting your privacy. But again, it's only when using Safari. Uh, so again, if you're trying to access Netflix and you're trying to protect your entire device and not just Safari, I'd recommend using one of these VPNs, all of which are available on the App Store. Now, if you guys are interested in learning more about these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below. And all of them are protected by a 30 day money back guarantee, by the way. And I think on uh, your iOS and Android, ExpressVPN and Surfshark still have a seven day full trial that you can use, no limitations. You can use all the servers and you can test drive these services. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.